Breaking news from the desk of Shane Foster. Dear Barstow families, with another winter storm making its way to the area bringing significant snowfall, the Barstow School will close early for spring break. Today, Wednesday, March 9th, will be the last day of classes for students, faculty, and staff. There will be no in-person or online classes Thursday, March 10th or Friday, March 11th. We wish everyone a safe and relaxing spring break and look forward to seeing everyone when classes resume on Monday, March 28th. This is super exciting news. Izzy, what are you deciding on doing over spring break? You know, I'm planning on doing some traveling and some much needed relaxing. What about you? I think I'm going to do the same. Hey Brenna, have you ever taken an art class? Well, I took painting one last year and painting two last semester. Miss Lee is super talented. I wonder if the other teachers are as good at art. Alina made a piece asking different teachers to draw different things. All right, so here we go. So you start with the body, right? And then you gotta give them a little tux. A little, little bow tie, right? Okay, penguin, you got the little head and body, little feet. There is an oval body. This is gonna be even better. And they have like little feet. I'm gonna give him a little bow tie. <laughs> little web feet, little web feet. Kind of weird drawing a red penguin. Ta da! <laughs> All right, so you start with a bigger body this time because it's a hippo, and then he's going to have little legs with little feet. Okay, so I'm drawing a hippo. So here's the body. Um, oh, let's see there, it's got some legs. That's four legs, guys. And there's an eye and a mouth. There we go, there's one. Do they have, I think they have like little corkscrew tails, right? No? No, but, and then, with like a little, he looks more like a duck, I guess. Well, wow, that's terrible. I'm gonna try again. I've got limited time. Okay, here we go. There we go. Oh, that's awful. Oh man, okay. And then we've got their little chunky legs. And a tail. Ta da! <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's gosh. so bad. <laughs> All right, so let's go. Come on, This is my unicorn. That's his tail. Slow in. Oh, main thing.
Great piece, Alina. I think mine looks pretty good. Um, Brenna, mine didn't turn out so well. Moving on, congratulations to everyone who performed at Misha District Solo and Ensemble Competition this past weekend. Dylan Markey and Divya Dendi earned gold ratings on their vocal solos. Divya Dendi and Helton Walker earned gold ratings on their violin solos. Phoebe Martin earned a gold rating on her viola solo, and Helton Walker and Phoebe Martin earned a silver rating on their violin viola duet. All who earned gold will be advancing onto the state contest in April. I'm super impressed. Nice job, everyone. Looks like Barstow has some really talented artists, including current students and alumni. Violinist Maria Udenich, class of 2014, will be making her debut in the Kansas City Symphony early next year. Shifting to academic announcements, Izzy Parr and Helton Walker play second and third for their research papers in National History Day contest. And Paranjit Sharma, Avani Lakaretti, Leanne Bader, and Jack Cousy play second at World Quest. Congrats, everyone, on such a successful week. Hey, Brenna, after hearing all of those accomplishments, I think I need a break. Yeah, agreed. A good book can always help me relax, but I never know what to read. Let's roll this piece by Helton to see what teachers are reading these days for some inspiration. Hello, I'm Scott Goulden, and I teach eighth grade English as well as middle school speech. Hello, I am Amanda Marvin, Profe Marvin, and I am the upper school Spanish teacher, one of the upper school Spanish teachers. One of the books that I'm reading right now is called Dear Memory by Victoria Chang, and um, this is a difficult to categorize in terms of genre, but it's basically a memoir it, through letters, an epistolary memoir, where she writes a number of letters to different people in her past and in her current life to kind of sort through what she's experiencing. And the subtitle is Letters on Writing, Silence, and Grief. At the moment, I am reading El Tiempo Entre Costuras by Maria Duenas, a Spanish author. This book is set um, as Franco comes to power um, just before the Spanish Civil War. Um, it is set there for like 1930s. Um, this book was adapted into a Spanish um, TV show and I saw the first two or three episodes of the TV show and loved it. And then I stopped because I decided I'd rather read the book first and then watch the TV show. Okay, so this is a book um, about a woman who attempts to grapple with the death of her parents um, and because of that she is sorting through odds and ends including fascinating documents and letters and journals that she discovers and really knew nothing about prior to their passing. She's writing letters to the different people in her life to sort through her feelings of grief, but also the new discoveries that she's learning about the people that she thought she knew, but is having to readjust her knowledge of. The novel begins, Una máquina de escribir reventó mi destino. A typewriter destroyed my fate. And I was just taken in with that first line. How on earth could a typewriter have just derailed somebody's life? Um, and I love that the author just gets you from the first line wanting to know what happens. So this passage comes from pretty early in the book and she is writing this letter is to her grandmother. And it says this, I want to believe in the origin story. I want to believe we all desire to know how we came to be, who we came from. I want to know why my fingers are so long, why my mouth naturally frowns, why my back has chronic pain, why I have freckles all over my nose, why my mind is so restless. But what if during her own migration, my mother's memories migrated too and became exiled from their origins? What if both my origin and memory can never be pinned down. Pretty much instantaneously, it appealed to me because I have long been fascinated by this idea of memory and how do we properly grieve the people that we love, I think has been um, at the forefront of my mind as we're going through a global pandemic and some sort of guide to help us deal with grief, I think is really important right now. and. Um, 
I would strongly encourage people to read this book with a slight caveat, and that's to say that um, these are pretty heady topics and can be pretty deep. I would highly recommend this book to a Spanish reader. It has not been translated into English, um, but it's really good. The TV show does have English subtitles, and the more languages you learn, the more languages you can read in, and your um, possibilities and horizons are expanded. So I recommend reading and in any and all languages you can read it. I would rate this book a solid 9.5 out of 10. It's really good, albeit a little sad. So far, about a, about a fifth of the way in, I'd give this um, 10 out of 10. I'm really enjoying it. Wow, I'll definitely have to check out some of these books for Buy the Pool Books since spring break is here. Me too. Also, congrats to the middle school speech team this past Friday as they traveled to Ray Peck East for their second tournament of the season. Once again, Barstow finished first in the small school division. The following performances secured the victory. Myra Parsons, 8th in Storytelling, Rania Ashan, 7th in Original Oratory, Darren Goodman, 7th in Humorous Interpretation, On Hithiari, 5th in Humorous Interpretation, Ishita Gogoretti, 4th in Impromptu Speaking, Lulu Herrera and Myra Parsons, 4th in Dramatic Duet Acting, Darren Goodman, 2nd in Impromptu Speaking, Mimi Wood, second in dramatic interpretation, Ishita Gogi Reddy and Nina Shankar, first in dramatic duet acting, Alyssa Ledesma, first in dramatic duet acting, seventh graders Nora Culver and Mira Gupta, and eighth graders Arnav Gupta and Ella Josie also contributed to this team's success. We couldn't finish our show off without congratulating the boys basketball team on their hard effort last night at the game against Pembroke. Congrats on a great season, you all played so well. That's all for today. I've been Izzy. And I've been Brenna. Have a good Wednesday, Barstow.